Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday. You know what that means, market outlook time. We're going to take a look at the market for this upcoming week of FIFA Ultimate Team, future stars, what SBCs we could see, other stuff that we could be uh, looking for in the game and be on high alert for this week in FIFA. Talk about some of the market movements as well and how we can prepare for some of that. Now, I want to talk through some things over today's content as well. On what we got today there was another ea mess up today on sunday uh so i want to cover that right at the beginning as well i'm sure you guys know about this but the weston mckinney uh player did not have the same stats actually you know what let's check this really to it uh, i think ea deleted their tweet originally i think ea actually deleted their tweet that they that they fixed this up they did not fix this up so the car that they had here this is the car they tweeted out today this uh, Weston McKinney, which is different than the one that is in game. The one that is in game is a CDM. This one's a center mid. The one that is in game has 84 dribbling. This one has 86. In game's 87 defense. This one 89. So basically, they added plus twos to all the dribbling, defense, and physical statistics on their Twitter post that they did not actually add to the card that is in game. So there's some people that are very upset about this today, which I understand why, because you were you were falsely advertised the card that they were going to release today, which is unfortunate because um, it just sucks when they put something out like this. They've done it multiple times, and it's it's technically false advertising, but, I mean, they get away with it because it's their game, it's EA, and who's going to stop them, right? I guess. So, it is what it is. Is this card worth it? I mean, it's kind of cool, right? Especially for me being an American. This is like one of the American future stars. It'd be cool to see this guy rise up in the future in the Bundesliga as Schalke. Um, a lot of people bought this card to link, link to him. Uh, we have the K Kabak, Kabak, I think is maybe his name. This uh, center back card, which absolutely flew today. This card went flying today. It was like 230k this morning, and uh, he's back up to 300,000 coins because of that link investments to Weston McKinney. This guy's oh, uh, this guy's one of the most popular future stars in my opinion because he is a center back in the Bundesliga. And that is a rare position in this game. There aren't very many uh, center backs from the Bundesliga that have special cards. Uh, and this one with really good stats um, kind of is maintaining a high price because a lot of people want this card. So that's uh, kind of what happened today with the game on Sunday. There wasn't any lightning rounds as far as I'm concerned. So that just means, again, less pack supply for these future stars cards. Uh, and they've... The, the whole thing with I talked about in my video yesterday, too, is that these cards didn't get packed on Friday as much as they normally would because of the server issues. So there are these cards are really rare, man. These Future Stars cards are really rare. And I'm going to talk about kind of their price fluctuations a little bit into this week. Some of them have dropped a considerable amount today. Gabrielle Martinelli, you saw me yesterday in my video. I was pumped about sniping in for 650. That was a great deal. If we look at the hourly graph... I sniped him right around this time last night when he was like 740k. I sniped him for 650. I sold him. Uh, we'll see on my transfer list for about 720. Uh, but if we look at the hourly graph again, today he's gone from like 720k. He just dropped all day. 630,000 coins at the moment. Um, I actually tried him out for a game. He was not good. Really not good at all. So I think that's partially why he's dropping. The main guys has dropped like 50k today. Uh, this guy's dropped like 30k. Uh, and then the, the rest of the cards are kind of just chilling. Rodrigo's down a little. Felix is down a little. Um, even some of these guys that are down here on the bottom are down a little bit as well. But I still think these guys have some room to drop. Their pack weight is kind of low still. But you never know what EA is going to be releasing throughout the rest of this week. And I'm going to keep talking about this. I'm, I really want to anticipate this until it comes because it's going to be a massive, massive thing on this game. And that is the mid icon sbc i want to take a look at the icon market right now in general because i think people are starting to uh just realize that this is coming and they're selling icons to get ready for this sbc and they're just selling icons because um it's the end of the weekend league for one and also because of these new cards that are out in the game right a lot of icons are down the market right now is at 67 points it was at 66 point something earlier this morning it was at 68 something um, but you know, just individually looking at a lot of cards prices, we have had a rebound since team of the year. Yes, but I'm seeing a lot of cards that are down in price. One example that I saw earlier today is middle Makalele. I was on the 59th trying to find some deals 
and I saw this guy at 529,000 coins, which right now he's like 550, 540. Um, but this guy, was, I sold one on 570 on Friday. So this guy's dropping off a decent amount, 532 on an open bid. Hasn't been bidded yet, so... Of course, it is weak in league sell-off, but I'm seeing some of these icons drop a little bit lower than what they're normally at, and I think that's just because of the fact that we're in Future Stars. People want to try these new cards out, and um, people are kind of scared for that middle icon SBC again, which I mentioned, the middle icon SBC. I think it could be this week, and I think that's something that is pending over our heads this week that we really need to watch out for and be careful about. And I'm going to look at this right now. We are looking at the... Cheapest players by rating. I told you guys yesterday to get in on some of the higher rateds. If you did, that's a GG. We were buying 86s yesterday at 15K. They are now 17K. We were buying 87s at 20 to 21. They're now 23. 88s are still, they're up like 3, 4K. Uh, 89s are about the same. If you bought cards yesterday, unless it was an 84 or an 85 that like spiked today for whatever reason with the SBC of Weston McKinney, I would hold on to the rest of these. If you club stocked cards, I'm not going to be selling those, and at least until I see these go to 20k. When I see 86s at like 19 to 20k, that's when I sell a club stock because these cards are only up like one or two k, which yes is profit, but you know we're probably going to get more and more SBCs throughout the week this week. So if you did a club stock and you haven't sold your cards yet, good stuff. Hold on to them. Give it some time because there definitely could be some more SBCs coming this week now they this is what they did during uh headliners and i think they're gonna do it during this promo as well they're dropping an sbc every day like we got moise keen the first day alfonso davies on day two weston mckinney on day three what's gonna happen on day four i mean we got an sbc on a sunday we rarely get sunday content so that was kind of nice to see i do believe since we've gotten two future stars already i think we'll get one more future stars sbc this week before set two comes out uh and i do think I don't know if we'll get another objective, but I would assume that we will get another flashback and another player moments at some point this week as well, or at least a couple more of those. And the player selection for these cards, the SBCs has been great. So again, if you did a club stock, I would hold, hold on to those cards. Now, considering the icon, the mid icon SBC, would that come this week or would that come next week? I really don't know how I feel about that. I know some people are thinking it's going to come this week. I guess it's possible. I almost think that they would want to do that the second week, though, because maybe they can make some people lose more coins doing the other SBCs this week, and then next week, after they have people open more packs, then they drop that mid-icon SBC, and it could come out then. I've opened a couple of these mid-icon packs. The very first one that I opened, I got actually, it was a sick pull. I got Middle Vieira. I don't know if you guys saw that tweet, but it wasn't my account. I think a lot of people thought it was my account, um, but I did pack one of my viewers on the Twitch live stream. A middle Vieira so that was super worth it then the next pack I got middle Akocha so the I don't think these packs are really rigged but the mid icon SBC is like in, in a lot of the traders minds and a lot of our minds right now as people who play this game and are worried about the market that SBC holds a lot of weight I mean we're expecting that SBC sometime soon and that SBC would impact this market so much it would be crazy so that's why you know could it come this week oh, man I don't know what, what kind of percentage would I put on this if the mid icon SBC, the percentage of that coming this week, I would say if that comes this week, I would say like it's a, I don't know, maybe a 55% chance of happening. That's my gut feeling, 55% chance of happening. I feel like they might give it a couple more days before, uh, or maybe another week before they drop that because now since the icon swaps are out, this is what they did with the first time around. They waited until the icon swaps fully were able to, you could get the baby upgrade SBC through icon swaps for like a week or so, maybe even two weeks before they dropped the SBC out in the game. But I do think that SBC will come during the future stars promo. That's just my opinion. Um, I think it's going to come right before, I think next week makes the most sense um, because that would be right before um, icon moments, prime icon moments would be coming onto the game at that point, at least really soon to next week. And that's another thing that's going to crash this market, I think, especially high tier stuff, team of the years, other icons that we get to be careful of. We'll talk more about that in the future. Another objective player. Last week, we only had one objective player, um, but I wonder if they're going to do another player with this uh, foot future stars Academy uh, kind of grinding up the rope, right? You know, I got my 80 rated Odegaard. I'm going to keep working towards those this week. Uh, and doing these because you know what this card may not be the easiest to link or 
the most juiced card ever, but it's cool, right? And I want to be I want to be able to say that I did the first ever um, Future Stars Academy card in Odegaard, and he's getting a winner upgrade too. So I think this card should become an 88. He might have 90 pace. Uh, he's got five star skills, three star weak foot. So I am going to be working on that objective myself. Other things that could come this week as a part of the Future Stars promo. I would expect some sort of upgrade SBC, the 81 plus double upgrade, two two promos in a row, maybe not, maybe they do a player pick, obviously they, they did a player pick earlier in the year uh, for a promo, I forget what it was, but they did a player pick earlier in the year um, during team of the year nominees, that's what they did, I could see that SBC coming out, um, or maybe the 81 plus double upgrade, they, they put that out again, but that would be cool to hit um, for these future stars that are in packs, uh, and again, we are guaranteed on Friday of this week, we're going to be getting set number two for the future stars. So uh, this is batch one. And obviously, if they're promoting a batch one, there's going to be a batch two. Guys like Haaland could be in that batch two. Um, and then there's plenty of other guys that could be in that batch two. Maybe like a Joseph Kang uh, Kang Tanganga from Spurs. Uh, Tamori, I think, would be in batch two for sure. That's somebody who a lot of people are looking for. Daniel James, possibly. A uh, lot of options for the batch two, so we'll really see what's going to be going on with batch two. But uh, I do think we'll get another one of these uh, player upgrade items in this, the second batch as well. And then one other thing that I want to look at is this guy right here, Mohamed Salah, is currently 2 million coins on the market. That headliners card, Liverpool has won four games in a row. They are due for the upgrade. These headliners in FIFA are due the upgrade. So the fact that he has not gotten upgraded yet, uh, EA said that they will upgrade these within 48 hours. And right now, this guy has not gotten upgraded. He's still a 93 rated card. Uh, and he should be a 94 after that upgrade. Now, the really interesting thing is people are thinking that Salah is going to get a team of the week so that he'll get his plus one for the four consecutive wins. But they also think he'll go to a 95 rated card with a team of the week this week. So there's obviously some risk in that. His price is inflated because of it. If he does get the plus four upgrade, I think you might see his card slip off a little bit, but then it might rise back up into the hype on Tuesday before team of the week comes out on Wednesday because people think he's going to get a team of the week. And if that happens, then I think his card price will definitely shoot up probably somewhere around like I could see two, three or two, four, 2.4 mil. I know there's a lot of people that might be selling this card, uh, but that would be like a team of the season esque card at this point in the game, which is pretty nuts getting those two upgrades. Wijnaldum should be getting an upgrade as well. Um, based on what the rules said in their frequently asked questions uh, on the on the headliner page that EA put out, uh, since Wijnaldum came out in the second batch, that does not like mean he's not getting upgraded at the same time as Salah. What, what it said was that the headliners were getting upgraded as of the 17th of January. That's when the four games in a row streak started. So I think this card's going to get upgraded at the same time as Salah. This one, though, I think it should go down. I know it doesn't make sense, but I think this card at 620k is way too expensive to begin with. Just considering his in-game stats, this should not even be an 87 rated card. This looks like an 84 rated card to me based on the actual face stats. You know, he's got really good in-games, but... He only has one stat, dribbling, that is over his face card rating of 87, and the other stats are not even close to it. So I, I do think this card will drop upon it being upgraded um, in the game this week. So that should kind of be the look for the, the promos and stuff this week in FIFA Ultimate Team. We'll get a new set of future stars on Friday, probably some more player SBCs throughout the week. If you did invest in SBC fodder, GGs. And of course, whenever these SBCs come out, stuff to trade with this week. Other market movements you could see. Whenever these SBCs come out, right, that's a position or that is a nationality in a league that is affected, right? So today when Weston McKinney dropped, um, the team of the week, Goretzka, that is that is in packs, uh, but also a center mid in the Bundesliga, he took a dip in price today. I bought some Goretzkas at 120,000 coins, 128, 129. Uh, let me check his price right now because he dropped like 10K. Uh, and I think that card is definitely in the rebound category this week as he does go out of packs for team of the week and as um, people use Bundesliga squads because, of course, we did get the Davies card, which is uh, something that a lot of people want to use. So what is this Leon Gretzka at right now? So I'm on about 120, 129. It looks like he's around 135, which is not bad. So I'll take that right there up a little bit. Once he goes out of packs, I could very easily see this card to be 150K, especially with that Alfonso Davies SBC. 
because I know that was pretty popular to a lot of people. So watch out for that coming out. You know, panic selling for, let's say they put out like a midfielder in the prem. Maybe you see, if it's an attacking midfielder, maybe you see guys like a KDB in form gets panic sold a little bit. You know, it all depends on the SBC, if it's doable and stuff like that. But those would be some of the market movements that I'm looking forward to this week. And of course, future stars buy time. We'll look more into this in like a day or so. Um, but for some of these future stars, I still think we need to wait because again, if they drop some sort of big time SBC or um, an upgrade SBC or you know just more pack supply stuff, then we're looking at some lower prices on these cards and these cards just continue to drop a little bit. So um, I would love to see these cards drop another 10% to be honest with you. Green was right now 640. And we looked at these cards a little bit earlier in the video. I would love to see like Tanali at 1.1, Greenwood at 1.2, Zhao Felix at 2.4. So again, another like another 5 to 10% on a lot of these cards would be really, really nice. You know, like Max Aaron's under 100,000 coins would be good. Kamara at 175, um, Mason Mount at like 320. If I could say 320, that'd be really nice. Uh, just I would just like to see some of these cards drop. Um, and I don't, since they're not live items, we saw the headliners from set one kind of remain pretty stagnant heading into set two of the headliners. These cards are kind of different because they're not live items. Uh, they're just future stars. There's going to be a whole new set of future stars that are out next week that people are going to be pumped about. So you might see some of these cards drop even into next week as well. Like if we get another really good right wing, you might see Rodrigo drop a little bit from 1.25 or maybe a Greenwood drops a little bit or, you know, something along those lines. So if you're looking to buy any of the cards in future stars set one, I would wait still. I would wait a little bit until we see more market movements with these and more stuff happening later in the week. So that's kind of your market outlook video for this week. Again, I expect a lot of content from EA. They've been pumping out the content during these promos with the flashbacks, with the uh, player moments, and with the actual player SBCs for the cards that are in that promo. So GG's to EA for all the content, but that makes trading with SBC fodder uh, definitely interesting. And we got a good buy time yesterday. So hopefully we can sell those for some increased prices later in the the week. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.